currently I have highlighted what is referred to as the Sud in South Sudan. It is catch basin of the Nile River. It is the largest wetland on the planet. It is home to lots of flora and fauna, hippos, crocodiles, storks, name it. Very, very permanently flooded areas all throughout. Not all of it is permanently flooded during the seasons where there is Uh, less flooded water, more vegetation, but the fire didn't start within the actual wetland. As you can see here, all this is previously burned land. All this uh, darkened land, this brown and darkened land here. Make a time lapse of it, and you can see. You can see it filling out. Darker. See the smoke here. No smoke. This is a fire that went out. You see that here? It's hard to see because it's just a flash. But you can see the fire underneath the clouds. That is the 11th. Yeah, you see that? Right there. This is there are major blazes of and around this wetland here, the what largest wetland on the planet. Definitely the largest wetland in Africa. If you follow the river north, you'll you enter into the domain of Khartoum, which since I believe last April there's been a lot of fighting and over 1 million people, at least, displaced due to the fighting of the rapid support forces and the Sudanese military. I'm not trying to say this is at all connected. I'm saying I'm not covering Sudan wildfires, Ethiopia wildfires, due to war and politics. South Sudan has a low population density that definitely had to have been displaced due to violence. Also, there's going to be no military drops. I mean, there should be some form of firefighting going on when you have a wetland like this that has been burned and torched. This is all fire here. You can go to the optimized. And uh, natural color. You can see the smoke. One behind my head. Nope. And these, uh. Let's go time lapse to this area. This is uh, February 14th, this image right here. The top right has the date, so 
looks a little off. Right up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one's been on my head. Massive amount of smoke. It's on the 24th of February. Huge blazes. Especially that one. This is the soot. And this is now river heading north. The fire and heat drives away moisture and water in a number of ways, but you can see where these little red blotches Deep red blotches. Those are fires. There's fires all over this uh, wetland. Tragic. Because it's such a complex season after season, it's complicated. A fire burns in a wetland, it depends on which side of the wetland you're looking at. Both sides and the north side of the wetland on the exterior have burned. And that fire is making its way in in different ways inside the wetland. This is the heart of the wetland here. And you can see here, it's a line of burns. See the progress of the fires here. This is the eastern flank of the wetland here. Blue play. Fires are growing on the exterior of the wetland on both east and west sides. Well, there's more fire here to the, to the southeast. Well, it looks like all of Sudan is burning down. The entire country of Sudan knows fire. South Sudan. Very, very 
very terrible situation. These fires have not gone away. In fact, they are numerous. Just on the outside of it. Thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't already, like the stream and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out immensely. I I don't know what else I can do here. I would love to raise more awareness for this ecosystem. But it's a... Uh, It's really deteriorating. You can see it. You can see the large patches of burnt land in the absence of green lush environments. Terrible. All that is burned. Thank you for joining me here. Please take care. all the way to the south of it. This is a nightmare. Alright. I think that's all I can look at. There's not much else to do or say besides nothing fries in their smoke and it makes everything sick. Take care.